Stop hoping for completion of anything in life. You can't just have one goal, accomplish it, and give up. Take for instance great fighters such as Ronda Rousey or Muhammad Ali. They set the pedestal of winning the championship, and once they won it, that was it. They didn't even know what to do anymore. But what these guys fail to realize is that the mission never ends. As long as life continues, the creative challenge is to tussle, play, and make love to the present moment while giving your gift to the world. Don't think that one day your life is going to be completely changed. The only thing that is going to give way to any type of change is taking affirmative action. It's not about being someone you want to be. You have to do the things that this person would do. Enjoy your friend's criticisms. So when another man starts criticizing you, don't freak out, but take note of what he's saying and learn how to improve on it. The way a man responds to another man's criticism says a lot about how comfortable that man is with masculine energy. For instance, if a man tries to burn another man at a party and the man flips out and begins acting all dramatic, yelling, screaming, and acting crazy, this is a direct reflection of the man's relationship with masculine energy. If you only want support and love from your male friends, this is in direct proportion to an unresolved issue with your father, whether he's alive or dead. You must be willing to accept and reflect on criticisms from other men, whether they're your enemies or your closest friends. When we take note of the criticisms we receive from other men, it allows us to actually understand what they're trying to convey to us, and we grow through the criticisms. The masculine grows through challenge, the feminine grows through praise. If you don't know your life's purpose, discover it now. In the modern world, we're taught to graduate, get a degree, find a good job, and work until we're 65. Once you're 65, you can finally retire and enjoy your life's desire and do what it actually is you wanted to do. When people follow this route, they're likely going to miss out on giving their gift to the world, on doing what your heart has always screamed at you to be doing. A man with no purpose is a man floating around a reality where whatever happens to him, happens to him. And he has no desire to change the outcome. He's just floating on an existence of whatever happens, happens. You have to take action and do the things that you want to be doing. The superior man isn't looking for joy through work or women because his soul is completely enjoying the existence of life. Living his life the way he must, doing whatever it is that he was put on this earth to do. Whether it's professional skydiving or simply raising his family. The superior man sees work and women as joyful pleasures in his life, but that's it. They are not everything in his life. Stop hoping for your woman to get easier. So many men go through life with the idea of, one day my wife will stop testing me. One day my wife will finally relax and be calm. You either love the woman you're with or you don't, and if you don't, you won't be able to rise up and pass her tests. Women test because they want to feel their man's strength and presence. And as I'm sure you know, they're pretty good at it. If you can't pass these tests, you'll never achieve true love with your woman and she will always protect her vulnerable, wounded heart.